Hello Makers, I'm Joe, and many of you have asked me how I split the mural in hexagon tiles for the community project. Well, Spanner Hands did this for me, but today I've decided to jump into Fusion 360 and show you guys how it can be done. So let's get to it. So first we need this, the shape that we're actually going to um, turn into hexagon tiles. So I'm just going to create a very simple um, cylinder. Um, I'm just going to extrude it. by 10 okay now for those of you who wondered how the wavy lines of the mural were done that's actually relatively easy so i'm going to create a sketch i'm going to use that pane i'm going to create a spline and i'm just gonna draw that once that's done i'm going to offset that pane I'm going to go on this side. You can do as many of these as you want, but we'll just do three. I'm going to create another spline and we'll do it sort of the opposite of what I did there. Okay. And we'll do another one over here. Okay. So we're going to create another sketch over there and do yet another spline. Okay, so next what we're going to do here is go on to create form. We're going to create a loft and we're going to use these three splines that we did. Once that's okay, we'll do finish form. Then we're going to go to modify, split body. We're going to split that body and we're going to use this form as a splitting tool. And if we go on to bodies and we remove these two, as you can see, you have that kind of shape. Now, how to dissect this into hexagon tiles. So we're going to go to the bottom. We're going to create a sketch there on the bottom. Next, we're going to go on to polygon. We're going to do inscribed polygon. And we're going to do one, uh, let's do, these are relatively small, but yeah. We'll do that one. Now what I tend to do is double click on that and do offset. I'm going to use it as a construction line because I want to see, uh, I want that one millimeter offset. Now I'm not going to necessarily use that, but that's just a guide. Next, I'm going to create a couple of lines. I'm going to do one there and one there. This goes right into the middle of that face and this one goes straight into the middle of that face. Next, we're going to go create a rectangular pattern. I'm going to double click on the hexagon, um, six sides selected, and the directions will be this one and this one. I'm going to do quantity 10 for each side, and we're going to set the direction to symmetrical. So what happens here is I get this. All right, hold on. Now, I also get that. Now, what's happening here, the reason why I do this offset line here is because I want to make sure that these are the same distance. Um, and I'll explain how you can adjust that. So once that's done, I have enough that covers all the shape that I did. So I'm going to do OK. I'm going to click on the dimension button. I'm going to click on that line there and this line here. As you can see there, it says about two millimeters. So I'm going to do that one millimeter. And it's going to readjust all of them to have one millimeter spacing. Next, I'm going to draw a rectangle, which is larger than all the hexagon tiles. Um, and I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to choose that rectangle that I just drew. And as you can see, it selected also the insides of all the hexagon tiles. So once I do extrude and I pull it upwards, it's going to be cutting through that model. Once I click OK, there you have it. All that has been turned into hexagon tiles with each individual body. Now, when you do something like this, you'll obviously need to number the parts, um, and that is a bit of a job. <laughs> so, what you can do is if you create a sketch down here, um, create some text. 
So we'll go there. We'll do part 001. And click OK. Now if you go on that 001, right click, and you do explode text, you can then select the inside of that text. And once you finish the text, you can extrude it downwards. There, ooh, too much. By one millimeter, or, ah, one millimeter. That's it. And then you have, you can do that for all the parts. That will take a while. So, yeah, that's how I do it. Um, once you have all those parts, you can just, this one would be that part over here. So you do 001, so you know which part and you're done that is it then you export each individual part uh, as an SDL and just print them and then it's just a matter of putting them together and that is it it's as simple as that it's, uh, it's easy once you know how of course but yeah it took me a while to figure it out when I started Fusion 360 nowadays I find it very easy to do something like this so if you have a community project or you want to do a mural this is possibly the easiest way you can do it. That is it for me guys. If you have any other tutorials you want to see on Fusion 360, please let me know because chances are if I don't know how to do it, I will want to learn how to do it. And once I learn, I can share it with you guys. So please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making guys.